Hi, this is the fourth video of the social network analysis on Gephi tutorial. In this video, we're going to look at some analyses that you may find useful for your own project. So after you've imported your nodes and edges like we did in the second video, you want to go into the layout tab. There are several layout tabs that are available through Gephi. People typically start with Force Atlas, the, the regular Force Atlas one. You can find the information of the Force Atlas in the information icon right here. And this is also available for all the other layouts as well. Typically, um, we would change the repulsion rate because it would make, if we keep it at 200, this is what happens. It's too close together and it's not helpful. Therefore, people typically change it to 10,000 or around there, depending on your, your network. So if we change it to 1,000, we can see that this is much, much more visible. Another interesting layout that I like to look at is this one. I'm not going to try to butcher that name. Um, let's go with Rheingold. <laughs> this one is more of a circular it gives you a circular layout, which could be interesting um, depending on your, your network as well. But for now, we're going to go with Force Atlas to make things uh, easy and understandable. You can, make, you can make the label visible. Right now, they're a little overlapping. So what you can do is you can go to Layout and Label Adjust. And when you run this as you can see, the labels move so that now you're more, a more easily um, visible. This, uh, the layout also allows you to do no overlap if there's some, um, some nodes overlapping, but we don't have any here, so it's good. You can also do contraction and expansion where you're gonna, it's going to do it by scale and contracts everything or expands everything. Um, once you're done with the layout, you may want to use the the, uh, the drag function here. As you can see, it's a little overlapping here, so you can move it a little bit to show, to see what it, it's really showing. So this dragging tool can be very helpful in moving the nodes so that they're easier to understand. Next, we're going to go into appearance and we're going to look at the gender variable that we had from uh, the second video. We're going to try to color the nodes in the label by gender. So we have that in partition and choosing the partition to gender and we can change the color for male to be blue, for female to be yellow. And when we apply it, we can see it changing, but um, the you can see here that the label are still black, and it would be easier if it was in the same color. So we can go to this one, which is the label color. Go to partition again, gender, and it changed the color for us to be matching, and apply. So now it's much more visible. You can see who's um, male and who's female. Now let's try using ranking. So for ranking we could use that with the node size and right now since we haven't done many of the we haven't done any of the statistics here um, we only have degrees so we can do that um, we have, we have, they have the they give us the min size and the max size and when you apply it you see that the one with the most degree are the biggest, where the smallest one, like Vanessa and Gary here, are smallest. And of course, you can do the same with the label size. And the same with the nodes, you're able to change the size as you wish. So if you want to make the max size bigger, now Corinne is the can clearly see the currents the biggest but this all depends on how you want your visual to look
So now I've changed this all back to the same color using Unique. Now I'm going to show you things you can do for statistics. So there's several overviews you have. You have the network overview, the node overview, the edge overview, and the dynamic. I'm just going to go through some of it that I think it's important to know. For, so for average degree, this is something we definitely want to know. What an average degree is, is how many on average do, how many connections there are on average. So when you press that, it gives you this um, window right here and you, it shows you your degree distribution. Now we're going to run a network diameter. These, um, this function gives you between a centrally closed and centrally eccentricity. So we're going to click OK. And then it, similarly to the average degree function, it gives you these tables that goes into details of the distributions of each thing, each measurements. This report also gives you an average path length, which could be useful for you, which tells that on average, how many steps does one need to get to the other? And here it's around 2.5. You can close this. Modularity, this is a community detection algorithm, which can be very useful as well. You click OK. And then here we see there are four communities within our network. And then it also gives you gives us a size distribution of each modularity or each community class. So let's stop here for now and I'm going to show you from that what we got in our appearance section. So earlier we did degree and now with the statistics that we ran we got all these other attributions that we can that will allow us to rank in our network visualization. Um, so actually let's use a size for ranking and let's do between a centrality. You can see that Karin has the highest between a centrality, which means that he acts as a bridge between the other the other nodes. We can do all the same with these, um, but let's, I'm going to show you for partition and going into modularity class, which is the community detection. So here, we are, we are able to select different palettes as well, or even generate new palettes. You can choose how many colors you want. For here, we have the maximum option of four. So. We're going to do that and we can generate however many times until you are happy with your color. You can also do different kinds of color, but let's just go with that one. I'm going to click OK and you click Apply. Now we can see the four communities within our network. So that's basically the basic social network analyses. Now uh, what you can do is you can go to into previews. And you can, I'm going to show you the de default first, but sometimes you may want it to be, you might want to show your label. You might not want it to be curved. I just click refresh. Now it shows you everything you wanted, everything that you wanted. Once you're ready to export, you click export, save it wherever you want and then you're done. So I hope you found this tutorial to be useful. You can find further information and tutorials on the Gephi website. And there's also various um, videos on YouTube as well. I hope this has been useful. Thank you for watching.